So good morning. Actually, it's almost afternoon and I'm making myself run today. And I wanna welcome you back to the channel and hope that you are, I put my shoes on. I'm not tying them obviously because I'm holding this, but I'm at least gonna get my shoes on. Gravel doesn't feel that good, does it? <laughs> so I'm uh, rounding out my end of my morning into the afternoon by running. I'm gonna jog, I'm gonna get in my exercise today. I am encouraging you at uh, all costs. Let's get up here. It's kind of cool down here on the ground too. Fall is definitely here. Um, and yes, that is Enoli that you hear barking in the background. Uh, this is why I try to kind of get away from the barn or the house at times because it's so loud. Dogs are barking at deer and at least it's not a, at least it's not a bar. We've already had that happen. And, uh, but uh, I want to talk to you about something today and, um, I'm still trying to process what all this could mean or what all it's about. And, uh, cause it really, it really, I don't want to say it bothered me. That's not the word. I'm just trying to process what I'm supposed to learn. Okay. She's running back the other way. So welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Hope you're having a great day and you're going to have a very positive day and that you're going to take opportunities of different things that you see, or maybe you've had a dream lately or whatever and you're learning something from it. I think that's what I'm going through today. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna record this. I think this is something good to talk about. I think this is something good to share with you guys. I think you have similar, have had or do have maybe similar experiences. I've got to do that inflation video. I gotta get my rear down to the house and get that done too. Cause we gotta, I wanna get that done. So that it's, you know how you put, you know how you do something and you put something off and then it's like, now it's two days you've put it off. So that's coming, I swear. I've got it all lined up. I just gotta sit down and do it in my, mess, my, in my messy kitchen. So listen, so I woke up this morning after having at the, like I, I got up and then I've laid, I laid back down. And I, when I laid back down, this is always a mistake for me, first of all. Doesn't matter what time it is, the best thing for Patera is if it's two o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning, or if I sleep till six o'clock or whatever, once I wake up, it's better for me to just get up. Even if I'm just, you know, putting in a load of laundry or eating a bowl of oatmeal, I don't eat cereal, oatmeal, whatever, you know, and just start the day. Even if it's just slow and easy and quiet, start the day. Cause if I go back to sleep, I don't sleep well, or once in a blue moon, I have a dream. And today I had a dream. So I laid back down after James went to work and I, I dreamed. I, so what, sometimes what I do is I'll put on um, a podcast that I haven't been able to listen to yet or something. And so I was listening to this podcast, right? And I, I, I dozed off apparently, right? So I fell back asleep. I was, I was tired. I was tired because I saw a bar. And, uh, let me explain this to you and you can tell me what you think. So, you know, we have a lot of deer around here, aren't we? We have a lot of deer and uh, we have a lot of different things around here in East Tennessee. But particularly I have, a, a, we are very blessed with lots of deer. In fact, right now I have a buck that's an eight pointer. I, I have more than one buck, but there is a particular buck. He is beautiful. I hope he makes it through hunting season and I hope he makes a lot of babies. He is gorgeous. I hope I get him on film. We've only seen him twice in the past two weeks and I never have my camera. Anyway, so walk with me here. So, you know, I have a lot of deer. There can be any given moment here on our farm that we can see five, 10, 12 deer just at one time. Does, dolings or little fawns, whatever. We can see a whole mix of different things. We see have a lot, we typically have a lot of turkey as well. At one time, I've got it on video. We count, I counted 28 turkey, turkeys, turkey. And, um, you know, we're, we're blessed in that capacity. And I think they feel safe here because we love them. So this is what I was dreaming. It felt so real. You know how some dreams are just bizarre and it's like you're dreaming and you know you're dreaming because it doesn't make any sense, but you're going with it. But no, this really, this was so vivid. So it was like I was looking out my window um, off of my porch and there were a ton of deer. 
I mean, like 20, 30 deer. And they were all out there. And then I noticed that there was something really strange about something. And it was, I'm not kidding. It was a mountain lion. A mountain lion, which we have those two here. Don't let them tell you that we don't because I'm telling you that we do. We've, we have seen one. We know where they are. They're all over the Cherahala. They're up on the, the Cumberland Plateau for specifically. They're there, y'all. Sequatchie Valley, you better watch out down there. Um, it was a mountain lion and a black panther, which we are, there's a lot of folklore about how we used to have a lot of black panthers too. And I ain't seen any of them. I would be spooked. And they were, they had taken down a fawn still had its spots. I mean, this was so vivid, right? And they were killing it. I'm just gonna tell you what they were doing. They were, they were killing it because obviously I was like, oh, and I remember watching this and I was like, okay, so I had to do something, right? I had to do something. So apparently I was by myself. So I went around the side of the house because I was going to at least get a picture of it because I wasn't going to be crazy. And then I was going, I, I was trying to assess in my, in my mind, I was trying to assess the situation. Was I actually seeing this? I was looking through my gate, which, you know, would be stupid because they could jump over and get me too. But it was a dream. Just go with it, okay? And I had to see. Well, I couldn't get out the door because I couldn't get my, this is what's so strange. I couldn't get my camera which, you know, is my little phone here. I couldn't get it to work because the podcast kept playing. I kept getting mad in my dream because I was trying to at least silence the podcast that was actually playing in real life, right? It was so funny. And finally, I did. And I went around and I just was like, you know how you're just like, am I crazy? What Was it still there? Am I seeing this? Because I'm like, that's a mountain lion and a black. I'm like, we ain't got no black panthers anymore. What's going on here? You know what I'm saying? It's a dream. Well, when I went around to look, to assess, was I crazy? Am I seeing this? Do I film it? Do I, do I take care of business? What do I do here? I didn't see a panther. I didn't see a cougar. I didn't see a mountain lion, whatever. I didn't see anything. And the deer were all gone, with the exception of the fawn, who was still intact. It was past but it was, you know, intact. And instead of seeing a mountain lion and a panther and another deer anywhere, I saw a grown man and two small little girls. The little girls were probably two to three years old and the older one looked to be four to five years old. They were little, okay? And the father, I assumed it was the father, was trying to pick up the deer. They were the bait, the one that, they were trying to get it. And in my mind, I, I was like, first of all, I, I, they're trying to get the deer because they're hungry. They were taking the kill so that they would have something to eat. And I, I somehow I walked down there and I confronted them and I said, hey, you're on private property. Who are you? Well, I confronted them. What are you doing? You know, I'm like freaked out, right? And he starts to walk up and I can see this person's face. I've never seen this man before in my life. He looked to be in his maybe early to mid thirties and he had two little girls and I'm going to be descriptive because I want you to know how to, in my mind, he looked to be a, um, a mixed blooded man, um, possibly maybe, you know, half, half black, half white. He was fair, but I could tell and, and his little daughters were they were, they were white. They were like white. One was, had blonde, curlish hair, cute, really pretty little babies. And I was like, what are you doing? I mean, it doesn't, I, I don't know why I dreamed even that. It was so, I can see his face. I can see this man. And he, I was like, what are you doing? And at the moment that he, he put his hands down and he backed up and he had his daughters and it was like, he was thinking for a second and he was trying to answer me like, he was going to tell me either he, I, it stopped right there because either he was going to tell me he was starving, which I would have let him take, take the deer, but, or he was going to become violent because at that point, my, my mind shifted to, do I have my friend with me? And then I woke up and it freaked me out. I mean, it kind of freaked me out, not because I had a dream, but because it was so descriptive 
and because it was so in, in so much detail. I mean, it was like looking at somebody in like, you know, 1080 here on, the, you know, you, however, the highest definition you watch at 4,000, I don't know, you know, high def, vivid color. I mean, it was, it was like I was watching something in real life. And I think I'm supposed to see this today. And I woke up and I was kind of freaked out and I was trying to, you know how you have a dream, good, bad, or indifferent, and it's so real, it's surreal, and you know it's trying to tell you something, or your God's trying to tell you something, your mind's trying to tell you something, and you're processing it. And I was like, well, and the, the podcast was still playing. I was like, you stupid podcast. <laughs> you know, I'm not really, I love the podcast. But I mean, I understood how I was, I, I don't know, but how I'm taking this today um, is, guys, there's going to be a lot of hungry people and a lot of, he was so desperate. This gentleman was so desperate in my dream. He was so desperate to feed his babies. There was no woman. There was nobody else. Um, you know, and they weren't like totally destitute or anything strange. I mean, they, they looked like average, you know, people that you'd see at the store or something. But he had to get something to eat. He had to feed his child, his children. It was desperate. He was he was taking that deer. It, and and he, he never said that, but it was what I was, I mean, a, another thing that I thought was, we're going to get jumped. <laughs> we're going to get pounced right here. Right. We, we're being set up. But, you know, because I'm like, where's the cougar? Where You know how you're trying to, in a moment of crisis or in a weird dream, all these different thoughts go through your head. But I think what I'm supposed to learn today and what I'm supposed to pass to you, because I'm choosing to, is for to, for you to brace yourself for what we're going into and how bad it could get. And are you ready for that? This is why I constantly tell you to think ahead for yourself and for your family but to also realize that you may be called to help somebody and you don't think that today, you don't know that today, but that there's going to be so many hungry people. And when people are so desperate and are so hungry, they are willing to do anything. They're willing to fight a cougar. They're willing to stand in front of one and take the kill. They're willing to go onto private property. They're willing to do things that, you know, we really are unthinkable. And that may be the message that I'm supposed to be reminded today and that I'm supposed to pass to you. And I want you to think about that. So, I'm nobody special. Um, I don't claim to be anything and, and I'm not a prophet and I don't, I, don't, none, I, don't, I don't claim any of that stuff, you know. I don't give you, trying to give you dates if something's gonna happen and all this stuff. I, no, 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 no. But I do think that it's significant for an individual to pay attention to signs signs in nature, signs from your dreams, different things like that. And I think I've had one today. It, it really brought, and it was so vivid. It was so real. And um, guys, I just want to pass that to you to continue to encourage you to do the best that you can and that you are. I know you are. I know that you are. I know this crowd is. And to continue to pray and to ask God for guidance. Um, we've got a lot coming our way. And we have to be prepared for that. And that doesn't mean that we're perfect and that we're going to have everything right. And in, in terms of preparedness, nobody's ever prepared enough. I get it. But to continue to do the best that you can because you don't know. We don't know the time and date of all the things coming our way. But we know things are coming. And you also don't know when and how you might make a difference for something somewhere. So that's why I said even yesterday, I'm like, you know, you, you, you feel like you should do something or prepare a certain way or do and you don't you don't know why you're doing it per se you just know it's the right thing to do and you're just going to do it and then one day you turn around and you go oh this is why I'm doing this this is why I did that maybe that's what I'm supposed to learn I don't know but at a minimum I do believe with all of my heart that understanding the impact of the desperation that a lot of us around the world could be quickly put in at some point could be very paramount. So therefore, every effort that we make on what I'm still calling a good day, 
is going to count. I hope this helps you out. I hope it's received in the manner in which I'm trying to deliver it. It's a lot for me, but it may be silly to you. But even if you think I'm silly, or if you think these things are silly, all I'm going to say is if you have these types of experiences, and they may not happen very often, but when they do happen, and you know it's more than just a crazy dream, pay attention to what you're supposed to learn and just let it flow. I'm still processing it. It's pretty important. Like, subscribe, and share, guys. Stay busy. Keep prepping. Stay, keep praying. Stay peaceful. Please get your exercise in. You need it. <laughs> I need it right now. So we'll get that um, inflation video up. I didn't mean to, I'm not stringing you along on that. It was supposed to be the one that I'm, I should be making it right now, but all this happened and I felt like this was more important to talk about first. I appreciate you all. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for all the kind letters and gifts and uh, thoughts and prayers for my Nana. She's doing great. She's doing good. And um, all just all of your compassion and spirit and commitment. You are the frontier, the last frontier, but know that you're it. Stay strong. Like, like subscribe, and share. Godspeed, and let's hit the pavement, gravel. We'll see you on the next video.